Notice with our waterfalls, all waterfalls still built the same and keep the waterfall simple. Big rock on one side, big rock on the other side, something in between. When we did this, we set this rock, then we set that rock, then we brought this in. This one sits out in front, this sits recessed, this one then sits out in front. And of course, we're trying to take advantage of some of the natural little, you know, fissures and craggy areas on this. So it'll be great if we can seal this up so water actually comes down this one here. You guys, it's done. Let's put it at uh, closer to 60 man hours. 60 man hours? Not so so bad. Not bad. In fact, I love it. And more importantly, the customer, I think, is crazy oh about gosh. it. It's very grand. It's impressive. We can't wait to show you guys what we've created. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. rock that we saw earlier at the stone yard. We're 100% going to use that as a frame rock. After that, I started kind of looking at some of the other rocks that we picked out. If you can remember, this was that one that was laying down, and I said if we stood it up, it'd probably look really good. And it's really thin and tall. So this would be the ugly side, right? So that's the back. I was hoping that the front had a little bit more character, and it does. It definitely looks better from the front, but still a lot of rock. So this will probably end up being another frame rock. And then I picked out that rock to kind of come in front of it just to help scale it down and get rid of just the flatness on the front. And then I'm hoping this guy ends up being a waterfall stone where I can set this guy in tall, that's nice and flat, and I get water to spill out over that. I'm also building this waterfall. Keep in mind that I have a five to 9,000 gallon per hour pump, which is a lot of water, an excessive amount of water for a small waterfall like this, but I know they want volume and they really want to show off the front of their house. So I didn't want it to be a trickle trickle bird bath type waterfall. We wanted something that really, really says, hey, I'm a waterfall. Here I am, come see me. Yeah. We'll get these guys set in there. The idea is it all works out perfect, but sometimes as we start playing around with the rock, we have to say, forget this one, we'll try another one. And that's why I have a couple extra pallets here just so I have the selection. I do like the character of this guy quite a bit, so we might get that up framing out another waterfall. And then I definitely want to use this one can be a waterfall, and so can this one. I love this rock right here. This would be the face. You can see the natural high spot right here. Water would kind of pool up back behind it before it spills over and it would kind of just do a wild thing in there. This one's also a nice waterfall rock. If that was the top, this would the face and then I frame it out with rocks on either side just getting that simple little sheet style waterfall. All of these big guys are just extras that go left, right, and off to the side to make things look good. Well, let's get this uh, this one big one set and then uh, we'll see how everything plays out. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, end of day one. Unfortunately, we're able to finish this pond in a day. We were just taking it nice and slow, you know. We like to take things nice and slow at Team Aquascape. What can I tell you? But it's all in the details. We're taking a lot of time. We want to make sure that this thing is really done well, especially it's in the front yard, so it's going to be a lot of curb appeal. A lot of people are going to be seeing this thing. So without further ado, let me give you guys a rundown of what we have. So the last time that I checked in was we had the reservoir done, and we got a little bit of rock set. So you can see we came in here, and we set quite a few rocks. So our bottom layer is pretty much done. We got one more rock to set over there next to the stairs, and then we are done. We're going to be sitting up in our next uh, pooling area tomorrow. So this waterfall here comes up pretty much to my weight, to my thigh. So it's going to be a good, probably two feet tall waterfall. So you're going to see it from the street. It's going to look awesome. A lot of crashing movement, considering that this waterfall right here, you're going to have a lot of water dumping off this, but then you're going to also get it kicking off of this rock over here. And then there's another kick that's going to happen off of this chunk here. So it's going to look pretty nice once we get the water flowing. We do have a five to nine powering this waterfall so there's gonna be a lot of water and a lot of action in this stream system so that's all i got for you guys today we did get our plumbing in so you can tell we have our sld five to nine sitting down in the bottom of the vault hooked up to our 90 elbow and then our union and then our two inch flex that runs all the way along to up top and that's going to feed our spillway that's going to sit somewhere over there we're going to bring a 10 by 10 piece of liner we're going to extend this up a little farther so it's jack with team aquascape signing out for the day we will see you guys tomorrow good morning Good morning, everyone. We are back out on this pondless project. Got the reservoir in and first set of waterfalls. So should be a great start to the day. We're gonna get our reservoir done and stick around till we make our way up.
moving right along. I'm loving the way this is turning out. I actually even really like uh, some of these big leftover outcroppings that we've got in here. We just have to make sure we balance them out. So I like this. I think we're gonna need another one that kind of comes this way. I might even try to save one for like up in here someplace. The other thing they've added is a bowl. So we're gonna get a patio bowl in here, notch it out to get a little drop in there. But notice with our waterfalls, all waterfalls still built the same. And for those of you guys that have been watching the channel for a long time, this will I'll sound like a broken record, but keep the waterfall simple. Big rock on one side, big rock on the other side, something in between. When we did this, we set this rock, then we set that rock, then we brought this in. The other thing we do is the frame rocks are usually out in front of the spillway stones, allowing us to hide then the nasty joints on the actual spillway stone. But this whole waterfall is built out of three rocks. One, two, three. This one sits out in front, this sits recessed, this one then sits out in front. And of course, we're trying to take advantage of some of the natural little, you know, fissures and craggy areas on this. So it'll be great if we can seal this up so water actually comes down this one here. You can look on this waterfall up here where Jack and Dan were just working on. Same thing, frame rock, spillway stone, frame rock. Can't match up the angles on that stone back there. So we hide that stuff and put the spillway stone back behind everything. And then we'll try to take advantage of this cool little horseshoe right in there and just see what happens as water comes down and kind of spills out of there. It would be pretty insignificant. In fact, that waterfall is only, big as that drop is, this waterfall is only that big because of the height of this, right? So there's water level and it'll go straight back. So not much is gonna happen with that guy, but it's still a cool little area. Of course, we'll get this all lit up and then we're gonna come back. They're gonna add another little liner, do an overlap. We'll get that bowl in there and then light everything up. We should have this thing running by, I don't know, what do you think, 4.30? Probably around 4.30. 4.30, nice. It's cold, it's late October. They called for snow all day, um, so at least it's not snowing. It was snow this morning. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Talk that dirty kind of words. <laughs> As you guys can see we got our or as you can't see because of jack what we got our waterfalls built we're just doing a little two-tier drop and then uh adding a nice big bowl up top just working on our retaining wall it's cold outside it's cold outside and uh let's move our way over to left here we are having some issues about what we wanted to do with the pipe either keeping it inside the liner here might get a little weird coming around these rocks so ultimately we decided just to run it up and around this one but in order to get that curve the pipe's a little frozen this morning we got mr dk over here and as you guys see do it whenever it gets cold out just use the exhaust or a heat gun, a little, um, little temperature check, tip and trick, just to get that pipe nice and malleable so we can work with those different angles. Stay tuned. <laughs> You guys can see we are in the upper falls upper pooling area the customer decided to also add a square bowl so we're gonna have that on the top left side and our spillway right where dan's digging in there so we're just recessing it down to give that upflow effect create a nice pooling area up here that will also be fed by the bowl coming down over this two tier drop as you guys have seen throughout the rest of the video down in this reservoir and uh, also added a piece of flagstone as a homeowner requested just for his kids to be able to stand in here and as a solid piece to be able to stand on so just buttoning away and got to get that top pool done and and we are out of here. So a huge change of plans. They've decided to go ahead and add a spillway bowl. Or not a spillway bowl, a patio bowl. But it's a large square patio bowl. It's going to sit right where Jack, JD, sitting over here. That's going to give us a lot of extra height, a nice drop coming out of it, kind of that horsetail fall coming down, and then come down this way. So aesthetically from the road, it's just going to be that much more grand. And I think when I used the word grand, they couldn't resist, and they went ahead and went with it. And grand is what they were looking for. But there's no way we get the flow of 
of water just that we need to feed these waterfalls and make them look right coming out of the spillway bowl. So the other Jack and DK are sitting over here and they are working on the spillway. So we have a main line that comes in here. Jack is working on doing a manifold over here where water is going to come through a bulkhead fitting and into the bowl, which we'll show you in a second as we get there. And then the other Jack is working over here, setting up our spillway. Now look at how recessed we sat that. We sat that thing all the way down. So we dug a big old pocket for that thing to sit in, which is going to allow this rock right here to sit right over the top of it. And none of the weight of the rock will actually be on the spillway. All of that's going to sit on the earth area here and then just behind Jack over there. And then that water will come out underneath that rock because of the big void right here, giving us the flow that we need here. Again, bowl is for aesthetics and a little bit of extra height. This is to feed all the water that we wanted through here. And then of course we have to do ball valves on both sides because we need to regulate the flow of how much water we want coming out of the bowl versus the spillway. Things are gonna make more sense once we get the jacks out of the way. Huh? <laughs> Here it is totally finished. And when I say totally finished, that means landscaped and everything. And like we promised, I'd show you how awesome it is. Like, I can't even imagine, like I kind of want this. Like the curb appeal is just so fantastic. So let me show you what we've got here. Look at this. Can you imagine every day pulling into this driveway, coming in and this is what you're greeted by. Or heck, even walking your dog. This is gonna be the dog walker's favorite spot now, just to walk past. Cause the sound of it is amazing. And the curb appeal is just fantastic. And Tom from Rose Landscaping did an amazing job on the driveway and all the landscape. Now as this thing fills in, it's just going to get better and better. And I'll have to say, I love the spillway bowl on top. What I think I love so much about that spillway bowl on top is just the additional waterfall. So imagine if this thing was just here and here and didn't have that. It would still look cool, but that bowl on top brings a whole nother level to it. love this big waterfall. I love how you can see it from this direction and because of that little twist, you also get to see it from over here. So you get a waterfall that's visible from about 170 degrees here. Really cool. Well, that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We enjoyed building it. Front yard features are not our norm, but when we get the chance to do them, they turn out really cool. If you guys know what to do, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your favorite parts. We'll do it again. Bye.